Hello to all my single Virgos out there. This reading is for you. Uh, we're going to take a look at what you can expect, who's coming in. We're going to get a lot about this person, their sign, what they're like, what they look like. All right. And any other messages that come through from spirit, okay, for you or to you, Virgo. <laughs> so let's get right into this reading. And of course, please only take what fits, what resonates, what makes sense to you. However, it does. If you need to flip certain things, please feel free. Okay. You'll know how to receive the message for a go and whatever doesn't resonate, please just leave it on out. It may be a message for someone else. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get right into this. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Cards coming out already. So yeah, subscribe if you're new. And here we go. All right. So Virgo starting off here. Seven of swords here. All right. This can be really tricky energy here. This could be someone who's hiding. This could be someone who isn't showing you who they truly are. This could be someone who's concealing certain things. Okay. This may be what you've been going through here. Uh, a little bit of deceit, a little bit of lies here. All right. Definitely someone who's carrying a lot of burdens. This is someone who wants to take. This is someone who wants to get away with certain things, right? It's all about what they want and what they can take. But I feel like Virgo, this is a time where you're not going to let anyone else continue to take your love, take your affection, right? Take your kindness as weakness. Feeling that very strongly here, Virgo. All right, you have the King of Cups. This is Pisces energy, okay? So you may have someone coming in who's a Pisces. Now, the King of Cups is all about someone who is mature, someone who is emotionally balanced. They're full of compassion, okay? This person loves to help, okay? They are definitely that, like, that hero mentality. They love to help people. Sometimes it can be to their own fault. Like, you know, it's like, whoa, like, Hey, like, you know, they're, they're like that though. Very giving, very loving, very supportive. Okay. This is someone who cares about your feelings. If you are looking for someone who can emotionally connect with you and give you that emotional support, this Virgo is a wonderful card to get in a love reading. So definitely someone here with a big heart, someone here who's emotionally ready, emotionally emotionally free, uh, um, <laughs> uh, emotionally who can emotionally connect. My goodness. I'm thinking so many things. Okay. Someone here who's very like, like sweet, soft. Okay. But when I say soft, that doesn't mean that this person is just easy, going to be easily manipulated or easily taken advantage of. No, I mean with you. I mean, when it comes to how they love you, this person has a very sweet, soft side. Oh, okay. Seven of pentacles here. There's a lot of things here that are going to grow in time, Virgo. I feel like it's possible for a lot of you that you were dealing with someone and in time you started to see things that just weren't adding up. Okay. You started to see truth. You may have started to see that this person was emotionally immature and you were just waiting, waiting to see, waiting to see where the chips were going to fall. But I feel like right now where you're headed, what's meant for you, my beautiful Virgos out there. Okay. Is stability is that foundation built together, right? One that's built on honesty, on truth, real love, someone who is emotionally ready, someone who is mature, someone who can handle uh, understanding, someone who can handle that hard work. This eight of pentacles here. I mean, yes, it's about patience. It's about diligence, but it's, it's also about hard work. Okay. Sometimes you have to be patient very hard to do, but in that patience and taking care of what needs to be taken care of, that's when things grow. That's Virgo where you have something like this, right? Where you can celebrate with your person. You're in love. You're happy. It's strong. And you two are building it together. So overall, what I'm seeing here is leaving behind someone who's too sneaky, someone who isn't ready, someone who isn't mature, uh, someone who's not putting in that time, someone who isn't being patient and understanding with you, Virgo. 
and moving forward here to stability, moving forward here to being happy, to having fun and to celebrating with someone. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here it is. Beautiful. This is all about that soulmate energy. This is about someone who's coming in, who's meant for you. This is a true soulmate here. Okay. Uh, this is someone that not only you were meant to meet, but someone you are truly going to connect with where it counts. It doesn't fizzle out. It doesn't start off wonderful. And then you start to really see what's happening all along the way. And it just crashes down, right? Because you start to wake up, you start to see what you need to see it happens. It happens to everybody, right? But with this, this is someone who's on your level. This is someone who is strong. This is someone who is courageous. This is someone who has the strength, Virgo, to say no, to put the relationship first, uh, to be patient and understanding. This is someone who understands that yes, being strong is important, but also showing that kindness, showing that gentility, right? Uh, really knowing how to deal with conflict, to deal with relationships in a healthy way. This is someone here who is very steady. This is someone here who knows how to keep the peace, who knows or will uh, again, try to work through things in a peaceful manner. This isn't someone who runs. This isn't someone who hides. This is someone who has the strength to do what's needed. This is someone who can remain calm when that storm comes, as it does for all of us in different ways in life. So beautiful strength here. This is what you can expect from this partner, from this soulmate. Okay. I definitely feel there was someone here who was very immature. Okay. This is someone who just likes to keep things going. This is someone who thrives on chaos, drama. This is someone who plays too much. This is someone who doesn't know how to take things serious. This is someone who's just, again, like they're just being blown in the wind. Like they're here, they're there. They're here, they're there. They're not sturdy. They're not straight. They're not consistent. This is someone who loves drama. This is someone who always brings bad news. It's always that what? now, right? I feel like this is what you're moving uh, away from here. You have the queen of cups. This is all about mother energy. This is nurturing. This is also intuition, Virgo. Yeah. Paying attention to your intuition here with certain information that you're receiving, things that you're seeing from someone, uh, either that you were dating, uh, that you have moved away from, or a certain situation you may be dealing with now, however it resonates, Virgo. But I feel like your intuition is right. I feel like your guide spirit is telling you, look, there's so much better here. Here's what you need to see. Things are starting to be revealed. If it's starting to feel sneaky, look sneaky, sound sneaky, then yes, it's sneaky, right? And that's not meant for anyone who really wants something serious, who wants to build a foundation. You cannot build a foundation on lies and deception, right? Uh, someone who's stubborn and immature. No, this is the opposite of that that I'm feeling here in this reading with this strength here, with this two of cups here. I also feel like there's going to be a turn of events here. Like there's a lot of challenges that a lot of you may be going through right now, Virgo, but hold strong because again, there's someone coming in and a lot of you may need time here, like time alone to really think things through. So there's a lot to think about. But I see a lot of independence for you, Virgo, and I definitely see you building something here with someone and just feeling so content, feeling so happy, like the work pays off. And it's not just you doing the work, Virgo. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely seeing happiness here. Someone who cares, someone who is open. Someone who's really going to show you real love with their actions, not their words. Because I feel like there's someone here who did a lot of this, but couldn't show you what they needed to show you. They couldn't step up how they needed to. So I feel like you're separating yourself from the situation and you're focusing on you. And that's where the growth is. That's where the happiness is here. That's where you meet this soulmate, okay? This could lead to marriage here. So for a lot of you out there who know the type of relationship you want, like you really want, you know, that home, that family, whatever your love life, whatever you want, Virgo, really. Um, the stability here is here. That's where you're headed. That's what's coming in for you. Very successful, very happy, very calming. 
Uh, okay, I want to say this too. The sex life here with this person is going to be phenomenal. Like a real, like, like a true match there in the bedroom, but also with how you emotionally connect and look after each other and nurture each other. There's a lot here that's going to grow, but it's beautiful because you're growing it together, Virgo. Okay, so here we go with signs. You have Virgo here. You have Leo, Pisces, as I said. All right, let's get a little bit more. All right. There's one. Who's coming towards Virgo? Okay. What does Virgo need to know? One more, please. What can Virgo expect? Okay. You have the arrow here. Virgo, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Whether you feel like you're faced with a tough decision here and you feel like you were kind of looking at things really not as they are or someone and they weren't really who they claim to be, right? Because again, this person loves to talk and this person, again, it's like, okay, okay, it's weird. I feel like a person who kind of trolls, like a person who just, again, like they just spat off whatever, like they just, ugh, very immature. Okay, always starting something, always in something, always doing something, always talking mess or something like that. Really strange, but that's the message I'm getting here. It feels like spirit wants you to know you're taking off. You're taking off in the right direction. You're moving forward as you need to do. You are on the right path, Virgo, okay? Okay, you have the fair woman here. So dealings or a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair, someone with blue eyes, green eyes, okay, fair skin. All right. One more, please. Oh, way more than we need. All right. Let's get one more here. Okay. There it is. Virgo, you have the door here. Opportunities are waiting for you. So you're opening a door here, Virgo, to not only a new beginning, but many opportunities. I'm feeling success. I'm feeling money. Okay. I'm feeling growth here. Uh, shining on your own, doing your own thing here as well. Building a foundation here with someone who truly will care and treasure your heart, treasure your efforts, your goodness, right? Appreciate your kindness. Your nurturing nature. Oh, this one. All right, here we go. Virgo, you have the fair man here. Dealings or a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Let's get a little bit more. That was a little extra, extra one there. Wanted to come out. Okay. Who is this person coming towards single Virgo? What's their sign? What are they like? Oh, something kind of taken off. Okay, it took off really quick, Virgo, and it ended just as quickly here. It was just like a downward slide, like just going, like just, oof, like just fleeting, right? It's just like, whoa, what's happening here? Before you know it, it was just going down, 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 down. But know that you are on the right path. You have the tiger here, okay? Chinese zodiac. There is someone here who is enthusiastic, courageous, ambitious, competitive. This is someone who is a leader. This is someone who is confident. And this is someone who is charismatic, okay? You also have the dragon. Someone lucky, flexible, eccentric, imaginative, artistic, spiritual, charismatic and enthusiastic again all right let's get more okay we want more of what they look like right their physical features the person coming towards single virgo how will virgo know their age range will be 18 to 26 Blonde hair, blue eyes, okay? This person may be plus size, okay? They may have a few extra pounds here, okay? 
blue eyes. Okay, definitely blue, hazel, or green. Okay, we have LGBTQ+. And on the bottom, someone who's Middle Eastern, okay? Or Middle Eastern descent here. Uh, someone, I'm seeing curly hair as well, okay? Uh, like curly, like dirty bond hair. What else? Okay, I'm seeing a nice smile. Okay, like you're gonna love their smile. You're gonna want them to smile more. Like, oh my God, like you need to smile more. Like you have such a cute smile like that. Like you're really gonna love their smile, okay? What else? Oh, someone who is successful, a boss, self-made. They own their own business. Also, someone who is spiritual. Okay. What else? Tattoos or nose piercings. Oh, I love it. Security here, Virgo. This is someone reliable. Someone you can depend on. And this is someone who knows what it means to commit. Okay. They're going to offer you commitment. Not an up and down roller coaster. Not toxic cycles where they have to hide and conceal and take from your love, your energy, from your kindness, take advantage of you. No more of that. This is a beautiful spiritual connection. There are many opportunities that are opening up, especially when it comes to love. But I feel also just for you as well, independently, Virgo. Suit and tie. Okay, this is someone who is all about business. Okay, this is someone who's going to get things done. This is someone who is a hard worker. Okay, Virgo, this person works really hard for what they have. I feel like this person knows the struggle. Like they really work from the bottom to where they are and they don't take it lightly. This is someone very responsible, okay? Like they're really about their business. They know how to take care of business, okay? This is someone who dresses really nice. This is someone who likes to get dressed up. All right, what else? Uh, tell us more. Who is the person coming towards Virgo, please, for their highest, greatest good? Who is this person? We have one that came out for a go. Okay. Someone's afraid here. Someone's in the dark. Someone is in a really dark place. Someone's af Someone is afraid of what's happening here with you, what's going to happen, the moves you're making here. Like they're afraid that they've lost and now they're all around darkness here. There's nothing around this person but darkness now. Okay, it feels like they've lost someone uh, who's shown them compassion, who showed them true friendship, uh, who showed them that courage and inner strength to work through challenges. But again, it feels like this person just took instead of give, like they didn't give what was needed to you. And I feel like this person is afraid of losing. Oh, Virgo, you're dealing with a liar here. You're dealing with someone who wasn't honest. But look at this. Look at the flip side. Look at the flip side of what comes in. What doors are opening for you, Virgo? That era, right? On this card, it's already shot. It's in movement. You are headed on the right path. This is the two of cups, soulmate energy here coming through. Wow. Some of you may have thought that you were dealing with a soulmate here, but no, like seriously, this is, it's only just begun. Like this connection that I'm feeling here is going to be so different, like really equally matched here. It does not just go down. It's like that, that, that crash and burn feeling. Okay. So to speak, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't just take off like, woo. And then before you know it, you're getting those queasy feelings. You're feeling things are off. You're not happy. You don't have peace of mind. You're over here worried, stressed, too much going on. Don't know what to do. Confused. Am I really seeing clearly here? What is really going on? Then before you know it, Virgo, you're dealing with one issue and one drama and one challenge and more toxicity after the other, but enough is enough.
because I feel more importantly, what's important to you is having that stability, that foundation that you build with someone. You have the hierophant here under all that. Okay. I love reading my bottom. Sometimes the bottom of the deck, it just, for me, how I read, it really does elaborate so much more to the message I'm getting here. And the message for you, Virgo, is hold tight. Keep that flight. Keep going. Don't step back. Don't lose your values. Don't lose your integrity. Don't lose your common sense, your goodness, your kindness, because you were dealing with someone who didn't know how to handle it and couldn't keep it and what took advantage of it. You have someone here who's going to show you partnership and offer you commitment, right? And you both will level things out together as one, as a team, as two people who can work together where you do become a force to be reckoned with. This is the marriage. This is the union. This is what you have coming towards you. There's nothing fleeting about this. Your wish will be granted. Embrace the change. Embrace the change, Virgo. Embrace the change for the better, right? New doors are opening here. That wheel is spinning. You come out on top. <laughs> you come out happy. Wonderful things can happen in time. Uh, Virgo, I also see you having options here. Okay. All right. You have Aquarius on the bottom. Let's pull. That's from the bottom. We have two more. Ooh, someone's angry, angry, hurt. It does feel like they're in a really dark place here. There's someone here that you already know. Like you've already met this person. All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay, there we go. All right, what else for single Virgo? What can Virgo expect here? You can expect many surprises. Someone wants to surprise you. Uh, they want to be kind. They want to be sweet. They want to show you their love and always here. Okay, Virgo. Yeah, always a surprise. Always something spontaneous, something fun. Woo, beautiful. Okay, I had to read it. Caught a glimpse, okay? Soul connection here. You have a beautiful soul connection. Beautiful soul connection coming in here. All right. Now we got to pull two more. Um, Virgo, it's not over. For someone, it's not over, okay? There's a lot going on in these cards. I do feel like there's someone here who's facing many challenges here and they're really struggling within. They're struggling with their inner strength. They're struggling with their, their peace of mind. Uh, there's a lot here about needing to love oneself. Someone is really going through it. They have a lot on their back, a lot in their mind. Again, it's like this card, like so afraid in the dark, facing so many things, especially when it comes to losing you. But again, it feels like this person wants to hold on. Uh, but I feel like if they don't come correct, if they're not coming right, and if it's just lies on top of lies on top of lies or things that don't add up, because that intuition here, right? This is that nurturing nature. This is that caregiver. This is a lot of like Virgo energy too for me. Like someone who's really caring, like just motherly, just, oh my gosh, like just gives so much, but also feels and takes in so much. I feel like you're not going to let that continue to happen, right? It's like an energy vampire in a way, like a lot of someone's issues right things they need to face they need to deal with and it's really up to that person sometimes trying to help you can be sunk in and brought down or brought you know your energy can be brought down virgo okay i really hope that makes sense that may be really important for a lot of you out there with um the situation that you're dealing with because there is a lot of anger there's a lot of hurt there's a lot of emotion there's a lot of fear okay there's a, a lot of lies and inconsistency okay that's for some of you now let's pull one more oh, about a love offer here again i love the flip i love the messaging here right because it's really heavy and it's really important right with the message coming through but the flip side is the beauty what is spinning right what's coming through when that wheel is spinning bringing that change for virgo bringing a new beginning for virgo it brings a new love offer 
someone wants forgiveness. They have a lot they need to work on. Okay, what else for Virgo? Virgo, stay flexible. You may have someone in mind, but your spirit guides want you to know that there are better options for you. This card pertains to releasing any unrealistic expectations. This is all about knowing that sometimes you can love someone, Virgo, but you know that they're not right for you. Especially it could be where they're at right now. It's not right for you. It's not fair to you, right? Because it brings that negative energy. So this is spirit telling you, stay flexible, stay open, because there are better options for you, Virgo, and you deserve that. All right, you are going to receive a message from someone special. This card says that clear communication is needed. Check your message folders. What else? Unrequited love, Virgo, the feelings in this connection are not mutual. One person gives more love than the other. Don't waste your energy on someone who isn't giving you that love back. Don't waste your energy on someone who isn't interested in you. All right, what else? What does Virgo need to know? What is their message? Oh, thank you. All right, that came right on out. Virgo, your love life may feel challenging right now. You have been navigating karmic lessons and past life relationships that your soul is still learning from. Don't give up, but try to understand the deeper meaning behind this so that you can set yourself free. Really important message there. A lot of challenges here that you may feel like you're facing. But there's a lot to be learned here. Don't give up. Don't let this tough situation get you down. There is a much deeper meaning to everything that is happening right now, Virgo. You will be free. You will be happy. Let's get a timing card, okay? We're going to pull one. In progress now. Wow. So you have a lot in the works here. A lot of you have possibly already met this soulmate here. This person, again, taking time, letting things build letting things grow, taking things slow. Okay. Some of you may feel like that's really important here, especially with what you've been through. Okay. A lot of hurt. Okay. A lot of lessons being learned, a lot of karmic lessons being learned, but there's a lot in the works now. Just know, feel like I need to read this bottom card, Virgo. Just know it's up to you. Your happiness, your love life, what you want is up to you. Okay, I feel like the holiday time is going to be really important. Like you're going to be spending a lot of time with someone special during the holidays here. Okay, Christmas, New Year's. Okay, I just saw a Christmas tree and I'm feeling like fireworks. Like holiday time is going to be really exciting. So again, you are on that right path. Do not forget the doors that open when so much is changing Virgo and so much can happen, especially when sometimes things can really end quickly here, right? It just drops, it just declines. But don't fear that change. Don't fear that that flight downwards Virgo because you can only go upwards, onwards and upwards. I'm excited for what this door holds for you, Virgo. So many opportunities that lie ahead, okay? All right, let's keep going. I'm not done, Virgo. We have so much more to get into. So let's see. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. What a card, right? What a card to just fly out like that. So smooth, too. This is all a part of a cosmic plan. 
All right, this web, this plan, this design here of things that are meant to happen, things that are in progress now, Virgo. Beautiful. Everything happens for a reason. Okay. Oh, smoke. All right. Uh, I'm feeling once the smoke clears, there's a lot of smoke here. There's a lot that's not really being talked about, a lot that's being hidden, a, a lot that you can't quite see. But again, you can smell it. You can feel it, Virgo. A lot of you are having visions, okay? A lot of you are really being guided here to pay attention to your intuition and to not get distracted by the smoke screen, right? To not get distracted to where you, your vision starts to get a little hazy here, okay? Keep focus on, again, what I feel is important, your values, what matters to you, what you want for yourself, the kind of commitment you deserve, right? A lot of people throw throw that word around like, oh, yeah, like I'm ready. Yeah, commitment. I want a relationship. But they don't really know what it means to be committed. What it means to commit oneself and the work that comes with that. Easier said than done, right? All right. Profound lessons are at hand. Okay. Completion of a cycle is near. Virgo, whatever cycle you feel like you've been going through, okay, and this could just be recently, this could be something that, again, that you've been through uh, from the past, but again, this, this cycle, it's ending. You're moving on. That arrow that I said was in flight, that movement, that is your progression. So you have nine, nine, nine here. This may hold a very important message for you. Look it up. Okay, look it up. See what message you get. Even if it's multiple messages that your eyes are drawn to, pay attention to, to the message that really speaks to you or that your eyes are initially drawn uh, to here, Virgo. You may receive something really important. Okay, 999. Completion of a cycle is near. There are lessons that you are learning at hand, right? That the karmic cycles, karmic patterns, learning from this, navigating through these lessons. A lot happening right now for you, but just know it's a part of the plan. All right, on the bottom, you have the bridge here, okay? For me, this is all about milestones. This is all about growth. This is all about starting from one place and ending to like getting to your goal, getting to that place where you're meant to be. All right, now this card says reconciliation. There may be someone here, Virgo, who again, they're not ready to let go or they're going to try to hold on. They don't want to lose you. They're afraid to lose again, but still what's important is your happiness. What's important is your health. What's important is to not sacrifice what truly matters to you when it comes to your values, right? Your integrity. So for some of you, there may be reconciliation here. That's only if you want it. Only if you are thinking that, feeling that, okay? All right, let's see. Getting through these challenging times, Virgo. Don't give up. There's deeper meaning here for you. There's a deeper lesson here for you that you can take with you. All right. An activity. Take up an activity that brings you joy, okay? Something that you've been thinking about getting back into. It could be school, whatever you may be thinking about, even just for fun. Leisure activities here. The bottom. All right. Abundance. Be open to receive. Abundance, Virgo. A lot of success here. A lot of moving forward. A lot of doors opening for you. Okay. Let's keep going here, Virgo. We have a lot more. What is the message for Virgo for their highest, greatest good? What do they need to know? Feels like a lot of you are healing. Spirit wants you to be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Someone is thinking about you a lot here of, about what was done, about the lies, about what they tried to get away with here. It didn't work. It didn't work. The light is always going to shine through darkness, but someone here is surrounded by darkness and you're pulling yourself out of it and they're thinking about you a lot. 
the past here. Really important. This is a time where you're ready to leave the past in the past. You're only moving forward. Oh, a journey. Be adventurous. There's a new journey here. Talking about those doors opening. The opportunity here. This is the time for a new adventure. Again, I feel like milestone. I feel like there's so much here that is going to change, but it changes your life, Virgo. And as far as relationships go here with this beautiful energy of this, this person here that can reciprocate and has so much to offer you and really cares about your feelings, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful feeling where wherever was lacking before with that, Virgo, this person is going to step up. And it feels like this is one that really has marriage potential. And you're really going to see it. You're not just going to be hearing it. You're going to be seeing it. It's going to happen. This is a part of the cosmic plan. But patience may be important for some of you. Okay. Patience may be important. Patience. However, that resonates for you. Okay. Let's see. Twin flame. Respect, very important. Demanding respect, holding on to the respect. That's why I keep saying your values, what's important, what matters, your dignity, right? Your integrity. Authenticity here, there's someone coming in who's authentic. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. That's going back to that foundation that I'm talking about here when it comes to you two building together. This is going to be an authentic love. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Someone's going to be really jealous here. Someone is jealous or going to be jealous. Jealous of what you have. Unity. You understand, Virgo, that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. You can learn so much from the love that you're giving to someone, the love you have, and how it does create a ripple effect. It can really change. It can really help you grow, and it really sets things in motion. Again, this is all a part of this cosmic plan. So spirit wants you to know that what is happening was meant to happen and you are going to come out on top because you are moving forward, right? When things go down, we go up, right? I see you and someone unified. I see true unity here. That is that soulmate energy I'm picking up, okay? That person who really is going to have the qualities that really matter to you, to where you both really can make it work and help it grow and build it together. There is no smoke screen. There is no talking a good game, but you can't back it up. This is going to be one where you two are truly unified. Remember I said you come, you become one, you become a partnership. Okay, yeah, definitely leaving the past in the past okay what else You have the high priestess here of earth. Okay, Virgo, a lot of you may feel like right now you're just trying to focus on you, trying to focus on your health, trying to focus on your body, um, <clears throat> focusing on what truly matters when it comes to your success, your career, your job, what you want to do, what activities you're thinking about taking up, what you're thinking about learning here, a uh, new profession here. Again, new opportunities, new doors are opening up. I feel like this is a time where you really are going to take flight. I feel like loyalty here is the key and is so important. Wanting a true person who is being honest and true and is ready to commit and shows you 
their loyalty. Okay, I feel like that's what's important here. Hold on to your strength. Like this tree here, very strong, very solid, almost indestructible. Okay, I know that there's so much more to bloom here for you, with you, especially you. Okay, you yourself just blossoming and happy and ready, ready for more of that joy, ready for more of that adventure, right? Be adventurous. You have someone here who's going to be authentic and loyal, Okay, someone here who's going to show you emotional support, whatever support you feel is important or where it was lacking. Okay, again, however it resonates, this person's going to step up. There is success here. It's all a part of the plan. Virgo, we have two more. Two more and that's it, my goodness. Okay. Is the message for Virgo? Single Virgos out there. It's time to go. It's time to cross that bridge because you're headed for so much more. There's a new door here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that bridge, remember I was talking about for me, it's you started here, but this is where you're meant to be. This is where you end up. Keep going and don't give up. You're headed for that door and you're going to open it, Virgo. And you will receive what is right for you. You will receive real love. You will receive real happiness. Let's look on the bottom, okay? Ooh, serendipity here. Beautiful. Okay. Luck. Greatness. This is a time where, again, like she's being lifted up, right? Being lifted up. Like, I feel like there's so much more positive energy here that you're going to be in. Much more loving, much more calm, much more happy. Okay, I'm feeling someone here who's also very, like, empathic. Like, they can, they, they really not only care about your feelings, but they'll be able to sense how you're feeling. Virgo, all right. Uh, some of you either maybe getting into teaching, uh, some type of career like that where you're helping others or teaching others, or it could be this person who's coming in, okay, as a teacher or they help others. Like they're they give good guidance, they give good advice. I feel like right now you're starting to see a lot of things happen because you're at a like a crossroads here, like that bridge. You're at that. I'm here, but I'm ending here. I'm going there. It's a lot happening, a lot changing. And it can be very challenging, but spirit just wants you to know that this is going to bring good change. It's going to be uh, a good fit. You are on the right path. So keep going, keep taking off. Okay. Just like she's lifting up and the color green, as well as clovers are always a beautiful change in luck for the better, right? Good luck coming to you. Great fortune coming to you. Happiness coming to you. There's a lot that's lining up for you. A lot in the works here. Okay. With that wheel of fortune. All right. What else? What's the message here? for single Virgo. Vibration. Oh my goodness. Raising your vibration, Virgo. Coming out of the darkness into the light, into truth, into clarity into positive energy, okay? Someone here who's going to lead with their heart. Someone here, you're going to feel their sincerity, right? How authentic they are because they're going to show you. There's a big bat here. <clears throat> I feel like there was a situation or you were dealing with Someone again, Virgo, where there was just so many mixed signals, so many games, twist of words, lies, inconsistencies. But that beauty here, that power within you, Virgo, you could still see it. You could still sense it in that darkness. And you remained cool. You remained calm. 
and you're taking flight. You were able to see what you needed to see, feel what you needed to feel. You're lifting out of the darkness here. And what you admit is a beautiful vibration here that brings that spark, that brings that transformation. Now there's a butterfly there right next to that bat. Now that's all about a beautiful transformation and growth. Don't give up, okay? Stay composed. Know your strength. Hold on to what's important to you. It's time to go. It's time to move on to better. It's time to catch that, that luck, right? That prosperity, that happiness. It's time to take flight. You're already there. You're already taking off. Don't forget about this. You're already taking off. You're on the right path, Virgo, okay? So I'm sending you my love, positive vibes here. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell if you haven't already so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And my beautiful Virgos, I'll see you next time. Take care.